The plot turns on housewife Despina Giannopoulos finding her restaurant to her husband dead and learning that crime is the real family business. Okay, so this is what happens when I'm not shooting top billing. If I'm not on stage, you're gonna catch me doing film. What you see behind me, we are on set on one of the locations for Bedford Wives. I play the character named Robbie and I'm about to do a kick. But right, Sharon. Right, Sharon. Did you hear that? Darling. I need to frame Let's up. Give them up. We need to frame up. The series is based on a book by investigative journalist Mandy Wiener and produced by Reta Bile Ramapakela. Reti, Bedford Wives, three years in the making, you finally got to do it. How do you feel about it and what inspired it all? It was a concept we came up with around about the time Lolly Jackson, you know, passed on and then we heard about Radha and Kritcher and then the stories out of Bedford Views kept growing and growing. So we thought to ourselves, what if a wife who knows nothing about what her husband does, which is not true because, you know, all these wives actually know what they do, but we thought it would be a funny spin if we took a wife who knows nothing and then said, hey, your husband's dead, why don't you take over the business? And this is how Bedford Wives was conceived. Sharon Wagner plays Dee, whose husband leaves her his crime operation. Sharon, it's been amazing sharing this make-believe world with you. Tell us a bit about Dee, the character you play. It's amazing being Dee. The first thing that drew me to it was the writing the script and the fact that she can go through every single genre in the TV series. She gets to evolve, she gets to change from this unassuming lady and mom into a real gangster and crime lord. Nobody could ask for a better part. This is a dream role. While navigating her new career, Dee is still a caring mother to her son MJ, played by the energetic Jacob Daniel Gordon. Yo, Jake, the main man, what's it been like being a part of the show, man? You play MJ. Yeah, I play MJ, and it's been, like, amazing. I mean, I've done a few adverts before, but this TV series is a whole new experience for me and I found it quite amazing. Tell me about your character. So my character is MJ. He is the son of the main character, D. And when I first got the role of MJ, I was quite surprised because MJ is quite silent. He doesn't speak at all, which is extremely hard for me because I love speaking. I, I cannot keep quiet. So it's been, there's been quite a few laughs when I've just talked by accident. And I mean, my character, he's, just ends up talking in the end, really. But it's quite, there's a lot of cool stuff, and I loved it. I think you're doing a good job, buddy. Thank you. Being a comedy drama, Bedford Wives called for naturally funny actresses, and Annabelle Linda steps up to the plate in style as Dee's mother-in-law. Tell us about your also powerful character, Electa. She is so, so, so powerful as a character, and funny, because she's, She's actually from the old school, so, you know, she says some horrendous things. As you see me now, of course, it's not the way I look as, as a lector, because I wear a grey wig, and it shows you how important hair is, because when you put on the grey wig, you're transformed. The story is packed with roles any actress would love to play, like Paulina, the nosy neighbour who stole the PTA chairmanship from Dee. What are some of the differences or similarities between you and your character? Oh, similarities. I would say the only thing that Paulina has that I have as Wulele, the actress, is I'm, I'm quite a, an active person. I like a bit of action in my life. I keep fit. Differences, um, she's so complicated. She's so layered, shame. With me, I'm, you know, I'm an open book. Someone whose nose is very much out of joint is Gabriella Cirillo's character, Gigi, first wife of the deceased crime boss who left her nothing in his will. Tell us a bit about your characters. Okay, well, Gigi is the ex-wife. She has no filter, um, but everything that she does, she does for her son, George. And that's pretty much Gigi in a nutshell. Yep. She's completely over the top. She's over the top. She's inappropriate, as is Yvette a little bit of the time. <laughs> so I play a character called Yvette de Villiers, who's a real wannabe Bedford housewife. She doesn't have the money that the others have, but she wants it, and the glamour and the fame that comes with it. How have you seen your character develop over the course of the episodes? Well, she started out trailing Dee, her best friend, and then she goes off on her own path, um, which is not a great path. But then she comes back into line and has a lot of regrets about what she's done and then joins the team in doing different things. I can't tell you too much, Chris. For SABC3, it's about investing in quality, original, homegrown entertainment. 
with funny, strong leads and excellent writing. I do think it is more about the sisterhood because it's a story about these four women. So it's actually, it's like this girl power sort of series. Look at these wonderful women doing wonderful things because on a daily basis, that's what women do. They do amazing things. And yes, it's set in the world of Bedford View, but the, at the heart of it, we'll all sort of relate in some way or another if you have kids, if you're a wife, if you're just a woman in general. And we have hotties like you to look at. So if you're new to the show and missed an episode, now you're up to speed for more of the action next week.